Hey guys, and welcome to my bed. Today I'm doing a what's in my camera bag video. So, I have to record with one hand. So yeah, let's just, no, let's not go straight in there. First, let's, um, let's look in my side pocket, see what's in here. This is really difficult doing it with one hand. So I have a flash, you never know, this extends. If I can, I don't, there we go, it extends and you can move it around. I have a bigger flash, but this is my portable flash that I use. Let's see what else we have. Newer, these are, oh, this is a um, step up ring for my, we'll get into that later. <laughs> so, right here, these are ND filters for outside because I like to shoot outside a lot. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that. So, we have ND filters. Is that all that's in there? Oh, no. How can I forget? Most important tool. A lens cleaner, or fabric, lens fabric, whatever you want to call it. I think that's all that's in there. Is there anything here? Earbuds, of course. Just gotta have those. Let's zip this back up. There's nothing in this one, really. I don't think so. Yeah, there's nothing in this one. Okay, let's go in the pockets. Okay, I guess I'm getting this. These are dollar store lights. They are like Christmas lights, kind of. Uh, let me turn it on so you guys can see. Yeah, see, they're, they're like, you can uh, unravel them, and they're just a string of lights. I use that in this photo here. These things, uh, I love these, you can get really creative with these, and I just carry them around. Now let's try and grab out a flashlight, because you never know, you never know. Light painting is fun. I carry around a tripod sometimes, too, if I'm positive I'm going to be doing some light painting. But, yeah, flashlight, just in case, you never know. Also, flashlights can be used for lighting setups, and that's what these are for. These right here, they clip on to stuff, so you can clip them. They have little stands on the back. Come on. Little stands on the back. This, this flips out, I swear. Dang it. Dang it. What the? Did I just flip it backwards? I didn't even know that happened. Well, I just popped it off. So yeah, we have those. And this one's broken, but it still has a it still has a little stand on the back. So yeah, I have lights in this pocket for a lighting setup. That all, I think that's all. Now in this pocket, on this side, camera bag's heavy. I have an extra battery. I'm a really low budget photographer, as you can tell. Really low budget. Um, one extra battery. This is actually a waterproof uh, cover for my camera bag. Came with the bag, so if I'm ever out in the rain and I want to put away my camera, put it in the bag, boom, I got a waterproof bag. So yeah, I think it's all that's in this one too. Okay, now we can move on to the main compartment. It's gonna be really difficult. So first thing you see in here, my laptop. There we go. My laptop for editing photos on the go. Gotta have that. Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be challenging, isn't it? And here is the main compartment. So in here I shoot with my T1i. I have this it's like it's a it's a prime lens, alright? So I get really nice bokeh at f1.8. Uh, I don't even know what the millimeters are on this. It's a brand new lens, right? Cut and slide. So in here I have my 18 to 55 millimeter. This is a, it's like one of my main lenses, if not my main lens. Uh, this is the one I use for video most of the time, since I don't really have video lenses. <laughs> this is the one I use for videos. Okay, so over here I have some macro extensions, because you never know when you're going to be shooting macro. And macro extensions are really cool, so I keep them with me. Over here I have a telephoto lens, you never know when these will come in handy. You never know if you're out, it's a beautiful night, the moon is being covered by clouds perfectly, or if the moon is orange. You never know when you're going to want a telephoto, so I carry this around with me. Oh, by the way, it's 75-300. Next we have my main-ish lens. It's rivaling my, uh, the ones I just showed. So, yeah, it's rivaling this guy right here, if you didn't know. Um, I just got this yesterday, and I just got the extension today. Uh, so far it's a really nice lens, like I said it's rivaling my new one, but this is actually a Pentax lens and as you just saw I shoot with Canon. So it's the adapter on the bottom. I would have the lens cap on the back on, 
but I can't get the adapter off, so that's just gonna stay there. This lens is very interesting, by the way. Look, you can control the aperture with this switch. Let me show you guys. Yeah, look at that. Look down there, see the aperture? That's a really cool lens. I've never seen anything like it. I got it from the thrift store yesterday for 10 bucks. Anyway, that concludes my what's in my camera bag video. Let's step back so you can see it all. And yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Guys, I almost forgot. Step up ring. I said I would explain it later. It's for my prime lens, which is a 52 millimeter. And my ND filters and all my other lenses are 58 millimeters. So this is a 52, converts my 52 millimeter prime lens into a 58 millimeter uh, you know, thread. So I can actually use my ND filters on my prime lens. So that's what the, that's what the, that's what the step up filter is for.